yeah hi winners uh, very very good evening one and all okay so exam is done the result is out and i know there is there is a mixed feeling <laughs> including me uh, so it's 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 like uh, it's i was so emotional uh, once the result was out so it's okay it's it's a part and parcel of game every year uh, we have this mixed feeling like you see uh, good ranks on other side you see good students ending up with odd ranks which make emotionally weak both the student as well as the team or the mentor who is in close association with the student will feel bad for it so it's all parcel part and parcel right which i am experiencing experiencing this from past 80 years and this is the ninth batch and of course the same feeling will be there for the next batch too okay so concluding all these things as always says i stand on the same word okay whatever it is okay a rank a number is going to tell you that what you are up to okay and first of all a big congratulations to each and everyone who feel they got a deserved rank and it's not like it's never the end right we always bounce back we always come back okay so i told myself as an a best example so i can give myself as a best example because i have seen lots and lots of ups and downs during my preparation phase which was almost like three attempts internship followed by first and followed by second attempt which was totally different okay so the most stressful thing that i encountered is during my uh, result day okay compared to the uh, yesterday's result okay so keeping these things aside now we'll be discussing about what to be done so this video is is preferably in a flow chart way so how you need to enter one step to other step how you need to plan how you need to organize yourself okay a few important things i'll be discussing uh, i don't want to overload this video uh, we'll be having 30 to 40 minutes of uh, valid discussion what you should know uh, once the result is out because uh, counseling is utmost important thing utmost important thing right because i have been seeing uh, so many students who got very great ranks extraordinary ranks in fact i still remember uh, there is a girl uh, in 2019 her rank was 18 her rank was all india 18 and because of some mishaps in the counseling process and for uh, the pressure from the family she was not in a position to take a seat that is the most uh, uh, painful thing that i have seen in the last uh, 9 years of my experience girl getting 18th rank 18th rank is not that easy and after getting 18th rank not in a position to uh, pick a proper seat okay and 18th rank was just wasted okay right so so i i am very very keen about counseling so i'm very keen about counseling rather than helping you during the preparation phase i feel like helping you during the counseling is uh, the most better or the best thing that we can do together okay so chalo let's start uh, the first and foremost thing is three steps for your mds okay the three steps for your mds is first is preparation preparing well the first one which is already done the second one is giving exam well i see few of you have prepared extraordinary but during the process of exam while giving an exam things were not on your side i know that personally because i know that you are a good student i know that you are a good student you work so hard but exam yes exam 3 hours is going to determine so giving exam well so you should be perfect in those 3 hours and the third one is of course the topic of today that is counseling so you should be perfect in this triad so this triad okay is very very important and this triad this three are very very important for you to end up with a good college a good clinical for the rank what you deserve right okay so now we are done with first and second steps so now we'll be discussing about the third step counseling so the result was out so if you check out the counseling okay so counseling initially okay it's going to the first uh, notification that is going to come regarding the counseling is about all india counseling
right? The first one is All India Counseling. So what all are included in All India Counseling? And I hope you guys know this. One is government colleges. Government college seats. So in government college seats, only 50% of seats are included in All India. Okay, right? So for example, a particular college, particular department is having six seats. Okay, six seats. For example, they are having six seats. So three seats will be in the state and three seats will be in the All India. So that is called as 50% of All India. So what are, what are included is 50% seats of a particular department in a particular college of a government dental college will be included in All India. And the second one is deemed colleges. Deemed college seats. And I hope you know what are deemed colleges. So make a note, none of your Andhra or Telangana colleges are deemed colleges. So everything will come under state college only, state pool only. So what, what are the colleges, what are the seats which are included in All India Counseling is, one is 50% of every department seats in every government dental college plus all deemed college seats. Let it be NRI quota seat, let it be uh, the counseling seat, whatever seat, everything is included in All India Counseling only. For example, if you want to enter into Manipal or if you want to enter into KLA Belgam or JSS Mysore or AB Shetty, or if you want to enter into Savita or Menakshi, whatever it is, all these seats are filled through All India. So all the deemed college seats in the country will be filled through All India Counseling and all the government college seats, 50% of the every department government college seats. For example, GDC Hyderabad, GDC Mumbai, 50% of GDC Hyderabad Prosto seats, 50% of GDC Mumbai Endo seats will be filled by All India Counseling only. So first notification that is going to come or the first counseling that is going to start most probably is going to be the All India Counseling. Right. So All India Counseling uh, regularly occurs in uh, rounds. Okay. So you check out the rounds. That is round one followed by round two followed by mop-up round. Right. So this is how the All India Counseling is going to go. Right. So coming to the ranks. Okay. So you cannot compare the previous year merit list or the previous year ranking list to this year ranking list. Very simple logical because the number of seats in every department are going to change from last year to this year. For example, if there are six seats, okay, last year, this year, it will be same. For example, if there are three seats, because I see most of the colleges are going to have three seats only. Okay. If three seats are there, so it will be two, one. So one year, the state is going to take two seats. All India is going to take one seat. The next year, the state is going to take one seat and the All India is going to take two seats. So it varies. It changes. Even if you're talking about state also, wherever you see, like for example, you see Hyderabad GDC, all the departments are having three seats. So one year, the state is going to have two seats. The next year, the state is going to have one seat. The same happens with GDC Kadapa. GDC Vijayawada. Okay. So most of the colleges, most of the deemed colleges, except few deemed colleges are going to have three seats only. So one year, the number of seats in state will be more. The next year, the number of seats in all India will be more. Okay. Clear guys, you're clear till this point. So this is how this, the counseling of the all India is going to happen. And for deemed college seats. Okay. So you need to pay the caution deposit in prior. Okay, so deemed college seats, you have to pay the caution deposit in prior. For All India, you don't require such things. For government college seats, you don't require. For deemed colleges, a payment of 2 lakhs has to be done. <laughs> okay, before you start your counseling, you want to apply for it, you have to pay 2 lakhs. And these 2 lakhs will be deducted in your college fees of first year. For example, you are not allocated any seat, this fees will be refunded back after all rounds of counseling, 3 months or 4 months after the counseling this two lakhs will be given back. Is it clear? Very, very important. People who are planning to go into All, in All India deemed college should be financially prepared because most of the deemed colleges, very few colleges have a fees of less than seven lakhs. Most of the colleges are going to have a fees of more than seven to eight lakhs, 10 lakhs, 12 lakhs, 13 lakhs, 15 lakhs, 17 lakhs per annum. Fees are also there for All India deemed college. So this is all about All India 
So once you're done with All India, so the next step is, again in this All India, cutoff, uh, rough cutoffs I'm going to tell you. So if you talk about the cutoffs, these are rough, okay, these are rough cutoffs. Exactly things will not happen. So for an open category, open category student, okay, it will be in the range of 450 to 500 for an open category student. For an OBC and EWS, it will be slightly more. So it will be in the range of 500 to 600. And for SC category, it will be in the range of 1500 to 1600. Sometimes it can be slightly more because uh, whenever the end point, like for example, like uh, perio in few colleges or like oral path, oral medicine communities and so non-clinicals, most of the people, they don't prefer to take. And some, in such cases, sometimes uh, you, you can see an extended hour rank by which the counseling is going to end. Similarly, there are few colleges where the departments are not good. Such a colleges, people will will not prefer to take. So in such cases, it sometimes hits more. And for SC category, ST category, so it's going to hit somewhere around like 2000, 2500 change. Okay. So these are the rough cutoffs of All India. So once we are done with All India, then uh, the next part is uh, the state counselings, the state counselings, state counselling, state notifications will start. The state, individual state, every state is going to release their notification. Okay. So every state, apart from releasing their notification, every state has a criteria. So you have to fall under that criteria to be a part of that counseling. For example, uh, there is a student from Maharashtra who is born in Maharashtra, who has done BDS from Maharashtra. He is local ed, So he falls under criteria. For example, someone who is born in Andhra and has done uh, BDS in Maharashtra or have done BDS in Karnataka, so the, they fall in a different criteria. So you are eligible to only take such category of particular seats. For example, I'm giving an example. Uh, there is a there is a student who is born in Telangana and who has done BDS from Karnataka. So he is not considered as local in Telangana. He will be considered as NL, means non-local in Telangana. So normally, 85% of seats will be for local aids and 15% of seats will be for non-local aids. So this fellow is eligible to only these 15% of seats. Similarly, every state has a particular criteria of rule for their domicile, for the students who have studied BDS over there, or students who has born over there, okay, or who are recently residing over there for past five years or seven years. Different state has different criteria rule, and this criteria rule will be given in the notification. Okay. So what are included in state counseling? State counseling is, in, is going to include 50% of state government dental college seats. So we have already discussed 50% will be going for all India. So the left over 50 will be going for the state pool, which will be filled by the state students only. Okay. State students only. For example, every state, for example, you are from Telangana through state counseling, all the state, all the seats of Telangana state counseling will be taken by Telangana students only. Maharashtra student cannot come and apply here. Similarly, State seats of Maharashtra will be occupied by Maharashtra only. Sometimes NL will be there. NL will be there means, for example, Telangana NL, one government dental college seat can be there. That will be filled. Either he should have domicile, means born in Telangana, or either she has to do BDS from Telangana. Then only they are eligible to take. For example, a Maharashtra student who is not in, born in Telangana, who is not born in who's not done BDS from Telangana cannot take a government dental college state state wall seat through the counseling. 
Okay, so state government seats will be taken only by the state students. So the next one, next things are included, which are included in the state is all private college seats. All private college seats except deemed colleges. Deemed colleges are also private colleges. The deemed colleges counseling is already done in all India. So deemed colleges are not going to be part of the state council. Okay, right. For example, you see Maharashtra. Maharashtra has both private colleges and deemed colleges. So deemed colleges will be filled through all India, whereas private colleges will be filled through MHCET council. Similarly, K, uh, Karnataka. Karnataka has state counseling uh, as well as deemed as well as private. Tamil Nadu is having deemed private. Kerala is having deemed and private. Andhra is having only private colleges. Telangana is having only private colleges. Orissa is having both private as well as deemed. So you see most of the most of the uh, most of the deemed colleges are in south zone. They are mostly in uh, Karnataka. Tamil Nadu has more number of deemed colleges when compared to the rest of the states. Okay. And in the private college seat, again in the private college seat, there are different types of seats. And this again varies from state to state. Okay. So in simple words, most of the mentors, they are going to keep it as A category seat, B cat seat, and C cat seat. What is this A cat seat? A cat seat is of less fees. B cat seat is of moderate fees. C cat seat is for high fees. Preferably, these are NRI seats or management quota seats. Clear? This A cat, B cat, C cat classification varies from uh, university to university. For example, you take uh, Karnataka, you're going to have K-set seat, which is of less fees. Then you are going to have comet case seat. Then you are going to have NRI or management quota seat. So it varies. Okay. So from state to state, it varies. So during their notification, they are going to clearly tell how many seats are there, which category is going to have how many seats, what is the fees of the seats and everything they are going to clearly mention. Clear till this point about the state counseling. I need your response on the box. 400 odd students. So please do respond so that I'll go to the next step. Okay. Now the question is, can I take, I am, I am from a particular state. Can I take a private college seat in other state? That's a very common question, right? For example, uh, a Maharashtra student is there. A Maharashtra student is there. Want to take seat in Andhra. Is it possible or not? Okay. Is it? My answer is yes, he can take. But he cannot take he cannot take an A category seat. A category seat is only for locals. Is only for locals or non-locals. Uh, either they have to, they should have domicile previously in Telangana or Andhra. B category seat you can take. So B category seat or a C category seat, B category seat or a C category seat, a Maharashtra student can take in Andhra. Similarly, okay, there are few states, for example, Karnataka, okay, or Maharashtra, okay. So here you are going to have again A category, B category, C category, similar like means low fees, moderate fees, high fees. So if an Andhra student to want to take a seat in Karnataka or Maharashtra, he is eligible to take only moderate fees as well as high fees. He cannot take low fees. Most of the states, their low fees seats will be occupied by the local aides, will be occupied by the state students only. So all the state government college seats and all the private college seats except deemed of A category will be 99% of seats will be occupied by the local aides, whereas B category seats and C category seats, anyone can take. Is it clear? This is very, very important point to be noted. Okay. Because every year I see students coming and asking me, sir, I want to take in Maharashtra. I want to take here. I want to take there. GDCs are more there in state counseling of Maharashtra. I'll go and participate there. No, you should have, you should, you should cross that criteria, criteria, eligibility criteria is there. For example, I still remember Jammu and Kashmir student was asking me, I will take in Telangana state. 
all ranks are very low i'll take in telangana state no you are not eligible to take telangana state counseling seats are only for telangana students telangana a category seats are only for telangana students 15 percentage of seats yes andhra people can take okay or 15 percentage of seats of telangana uh, the other states like people who are born here studied there or people who are born somewhere studied here if you have some link to telangana okay and documents are there then you can you are eligible for that okay clear chalo it's clear can i go to the next part in the flow chart yes okay so what is going to happen is similarly to all india counseling okay every state counseling most of the state counselings there are few states with abnormal counseling patterns which i am not going to talk as of now so most of the states state counselings okay will have a category that i told you right a uh, b and c categories again will have round 1 round 2 and mock up round rules and regulations for each state and everything they are going to vary slightly there there, there is some variations basing upon which we will be discussing that individually state wise i am going to take some classes regarding the options filling regarding the counseling patterns what is this and what is that we'll try to help you out so there is nothing to worry about that okay right so this is all about counselings that you have to make a note <laughs> okay right uh any specific doubts you have there is one question stipend in the deemed colleges stipend in the deemed colleges varies from college to college okay that will be available either on the college website or that will be available either on the nbe website okay so normally uh, once you are planning for all deemed college counseling so what you have what you have to plan how you have to plan is you have to keep uh, one is budget budget into consideration for example my budget is 8 lakhs per annum is my budget so how you need to calculate this 8 lakhs per annum is so take the a, a better approach the college directly either on the phone <laughs> because websites will not be properly updated and you you will get a wrong information regarding the fees as well as stipends because stipends every 2 to 3 years and fees is every 2 to 3 years it varies for example there is one college where the college fees is 10 lakhs but stipend here is 25000 per month so how you need to calculate is 25 into 12 so 25 into 12 is 3 lakhs college fees is 10 lakhs 25 into 12 is 3 lakhs so the net college fees is 7 lakhs okay so now it is in my budget my budget is 8 lakhs per annum so it is in my budget so you have to calculate the net okay so total fees minus the fees of the minus the stipend you are getting so you need to calculate the net fees so this is how you need to prepare a list of uh, colleges when you are planning to go for deemed colleges options and it should be within the budget so budget please try to discuss with your parents and uh, you try to plan accordingly uh, the things because it has time because all india counseling notification everything should come out then we'll discuss about this clearly but just i'm giving a rough idea okay right so so other important aspect <laughs> okay so other important aspect is uh so we have already discussed about the rough cut offs of all india so coming to the rough, rough cut offs of the state okay so whenever the state notification is out so state notification is out and now you are applying for the state so all all the students of your state are applying for the state notification so they got some 600 applications just just 600 applications so now they are going to prepare a list so they are going to prepare a list according to your neat ranks and they are going to give state rank and these people are going to call you for certificate verification for example someone has applied for 
for Telangana or for example, they have applied for Maharashtra. So they are going to check your certificates, whether it is real or not. I have applied for SC category, but I am OC. I have applied for SC. So they are going to check all these caste certificates, income certificates, EWS you have, EWS certificates and everything they are going to check. So once the certificate verification is done, for example, there are some 20 people who are not able to reach the criteria. So their names will be re removed and the final 580 merit list will be given. So along the, with this merit list, along with the release of the merit list, okay, they are going to release something called as seat matrix. What is this seat matrix in a particular college, in a particular department? How many seats are allocated to OC? How many seats are allocated to SC? How many seats are allocated to OBC? How many seats are allocated to ST? They are going to give a seat matrix. So basing upon the seat matrix, for example, you're an open category, for example, very simple, I'm telling you. There is one call as MNR. MNR has endo. Okay. So one student has got a very good rank, decided to take MNR endo because she, she or he stays very near to the college. So parents are willing to ask her to pick the same college. So she is an open category student. She decided to take MNR endo. For example, MNR endo is having roughly three seats. One seat is given for ST. One seat is given for SC. And one seat is given for OBC. Here you don't have an OC seat. You cannot take a seat. Okay. So you need to keep options according to seat matrix. So once the seat matrix is out, now you need to, for example, I'm an SC student. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to prepare the list of seats in SC category of all colleges. Now I'm going to keep my priority and I'm going to upload that as an options. For example, uh, I want to do surgery. SVS, I want to do SVS surgery. Or for example, I want to do KGMC Lucknow surgery. Okay. I got a very good rank. But even after getting a good rank, there should be a seat over there in your category for you to apply. So it's always <laughs> depends upon the seat matrix. Clear? So similarly, your rank in the merit list of your state is important. Okay. And similarly, your category rank in the merit list of state is important and upon which the seat matrix, the number of seats in your category are important. So all these things will tell you exactly which department you are going to get over a period of time, not immediately. We can roughly tell that you will get a clinical, you will get a good clinical, you will get a government dental college. That rough opinion we can give. Exactly what college, what department, no one can tell. Okay, clear? Okay, right. Okay. So coming to the uh, rough, rough calculations, like uh, if your rank is, I mean, exceptions are few states, maybe exceptions where the competition is very low. But if your rank is somewhere around like 2000, 2500, you will get a decent A category seat in your particular state. As Karnataka is having more seats or Maharashtra is having more seats, Slightly, you may have a better option in Karnataka and Maharashtra compared to other states. Okay. So normally 2000, 2000, 2000, 2500, you will get a good clinical seat in your particular state where the number of colleges are decent. Sometimes it may go high. Okay. Non-clinical will definitely go high because there is a less demand for the non-clinical departments as of now in the market. Okay. Right. So that is one important. And coming to category wise, so, because uh, different states are going to have different reservation categories. Maharashtra reservation category is different. Uh, Karnataka reservation category is different. Andhra Telangana reservation category is different. So, basing upon the seat matrix and if you have reservation, that is going to slightly vary. For example, an open category in, a, in most of the states, 2000, you will get a good clinical. For a OBC, <laughs> it may raise to somewhere around like 2,500, sometimes it's going to hit 3,000. There are few categories where the competition will be low. Such categories will have a better cutoffs. And similarly, for an SC, you, you have a better cutoff. Like 5,000 also, you're going to get a good clinical. Okay, ST, still more. 
okay for example you you are having a physically handicapped certificate okay so competition will be very very minimal like whatever seat you have you will get it so there's very minimal competition so you hardly have two to three or three to four people who are going to give such category a ah, obc student is eligible for open category anyone is eligible for open category okay right so government dental college cutoffs are going to be like as we already discussed that all india cutoffs are going to be somewhere around like 500 odd so government call state government college cutoffs will be slightly more like 500 600 700 800 sometimes it hits 1000 also whenever the competition of ranks in that particular state is minimal okay okay so these are the main things which i feel like uh, uh, i i have to discuss with you now the strategy flow chart okay the strategy flow chart uh make sure you try to discuss with your mentor because the most important thing for the preparation is a quick start a quick restart okay right so so the rank is out the first and foremost thing that you need to decide is for example you are not you are not falling under the category of gdcs okay so what is the first and foremost thing that you have to decide is sit with your parents and let's know the financial limitations are they ready for a category seat are they ready for a category so so a b c okay so first check with, with your parents they are ready till what seat they are ready till a category or they are ready till b category or they are ready till c category okay so just a second so the first option is <laughs> one and two is to proceed or is to repeat so you yourself have something in your mind okay so my preparation was not up to mark during this particular year or i am an intern okay definitely i'll repeat so first decide whether you want to proceed or whether you want to repeat okay so if you want to repeat no discussion start immediately this is the biggest thing biggest vacuum in most of the students is most of the students except few states okay the students they repeat the exam very fast okay they start their preparation immediately very fast but there are few states i don't want to mention or discuss the state names they wait and watch i don't know what is the point of waiting and watching waiting and watching till all india counseling state counseling one first round second round third round by the time the counselings are over it is going to hit in the month of october or november okay so october november your preparation will be 3 to 4 months and again you are going to end up with the same rank so first and foremost suggestion is you want to enter into counseling go with the counseling flow chart if you don't want to enter the counseling want to repeat the exam start immediately okay now want to proceed with the counseling so check out whether you go, you are eligible to get a government seat or not don't assume that your rank is 300 3000 or 4000 don't assume some magic is going to happen and you are going to be at allocated to a government seat let's try there is nothing to try 3000 you will never get a gdc so there is nothing to try over here nothing to wait and watch over here if you are eligible to government okay plan accordingly if not next the comes is private private is all about money so money the most important thing the most important person to give you money is parents so sit with the parents and know their financial limitations how much they are planning to spend on your pg so then you decide a b c for example the parents may tell that i am ready till b category so you don't have c category option you have only a and b the parents can tell only a category i can support b category i cannot support so now your search should be a category so what are what are the chances for an a category five for my rank are there good chances good chances means 100 percentages are there moderate chances means you will get but not sure whether you're going to get good clinical or non clinical or bad clinical low low is you may get a non clinical or you may not get so this you need to discuss personally with the mentor talk with the mentor discuss with the mentor and get an idea 
okay so for example if it's 100 percent is ask your parents to get prepared with the financial things and you try to work on your future of dentistry for example if it is a b if it is a moderate chances are there but in this moderate chances you are not sure whether to repeat the exam whether to retake the exam or whether to proceed with the counseling so in such cases you start preparation don't wait start preparation and go with the counseling preparation and counseling has to be done if it is very low going for counseling is your option but you need to start your preparation immediately for example your b category is open chances will be more c category is open you need to approach the colleges for nri seats and management quota seats you need to immediately approach the college because in cities, in good clinical departments, you have high chances. I'm not audible. Okay, right. Right, clear. So this route map is very, very important because I am I am personally seeing uh, lots of students in the last few years. Uh, <laughs> the guidance is very, very important for the counseling. So last year, I still remember there is a guy who has paid 25,000 for a counselor. He told he will guide. Srikant sir is busy. He's very close to me. He has kept, he paid 25,000 and kept a counselor. And what happened finally, his rank is 1200 and he has a very good reservation. This counselor fellow told that you will get a pakka this seat in this college who so only keep that seat uh, from that college. And finally, this fellow did not get and he has repeated the exam. Most unfortunate thing, crying. It's horrible crying. Very bad. It's very bad. So please don't trust any sort of counselors, anyone on the websites or on the mails or any references. The best counselor is your mentor. You can ping me. I'm ready to help you. Because I don't want to see you crying, feeling bad after getting a good rank. Okay, if you don't get a good rank, it's okay. It's okay. Compromise is okay. Even after getting good rank, if someone is calling me on the day of uh, the allotment and crying that I did not get a seat, why you did not get a seat? The story is different. It, it is going to be so horrible for you as well as for me. Being with you, guiding you, preparing you, training you. At the end of the day, getting a good rank and not getting a good seat and being cheated by someone by simply a reference or by an online thing is going to hurt you and me. So I'll help you. Okay. Don't worry about me. I'll help only you. Okay. I already got so many calls uh, from friends, friends, friends of you. Because I was I was getting so many calls and I was talking to them. And after, after a uh, main well, I asked you, what is your name? Uh, your, your phone number is not saved on my number. They, she's telling one of my friend, friend, friends of you has given your contact because you are very good in guiding for counseling. Yes, sir. I'm good. I'm yes. I'll help you. That's okay. I can help you. But the thing is I should help you guys first. Okay. You are part of conquer. So first help should be you. Okay. Without helping you, how can I help? Uh, everyone is student. Okay. I'm, I'm very diplomatic. Everyone is student. But I should, my first help should be you. Okay. Then I'll try to help others. There is no point of helping uh, without helping you and helping others. That is pointless. Okay. I'm not uh, Karna or something uh, who has to help every individual on the media. Okay. Right. Uh, clear, clear, clear. So flowchart is important uh, and, and one more suggestion is I see the uh, not all like few students. Uh, so they give uh, they give need. They may end up with 5000 or 6000 rank. They know that their preparation was not up to mark. Means their preparation may be post internship two to three months or three to four months preparation. Again, immediately bounce back. They give an INI seat. No, the point here is you should be very clear. If you feel your preparation is good, go for INSIT, nothing wrong. If you feel your preparation is not up to mark, then planning to crack INICET, reading superficially for two more months because you read superficially need for three months and got some 5,000 or 5, or 6,000 rank. 
again you are reading superficially for two more months for INICET. Okay, so this is going to reduce the net preparation phase for the upcoming NEET examination. So don't go for superficial readings. Okay, so whenever you're planning to go ahead, don't ever go for the superficial readings. Okay, make sure you feel like you're good. Go for INICET, nothing wrong. If you feel you're not up to mark, then plan for November INICET. Don't jump for May INICET because May INICET is going to compromise your preparation by two months. Okay, you're already good. Good. Yes, give May INICT. If you feel you're not good, plan for November INICT because November INICT, you're going to have seven to eight months of preparation time. May, you're going to have two months of preparation time, followed by from May to November. Again, you're going to have six months of preparation time. In six months of preparation time, you cannot get that sound reading part. Okay, few of you can get, but most of you may not reach that sound reading part again. After November INICT, you're going to have two to three months of preparation phase. And again, your NEET exam will be there. So please do sit, plan with your mentor and plan accordingly and proceed. Okay, right. Yeah, that's what, that is the main thing. Revised cutoffs will be uh, announced after uh, All India second round of counseling. B category cutoffs varies from state to state. Within the zone of, for example, Telangana, within the zone of city of Hyderabad, cutoffs will be, cutoffs of B category will be very, very high. Outside the zone, for example, you talk about uh, uh, Magana, you talk about uh, Mamata, the cutoffs will be more. And similarly, non-clinical spirios cutoffs will be more. Indo will be finished fast. This recorded version will be there. It is not a quick revision class to recap everything what is discussed in the 30 minutes. I'll be posting on the YouTube. You can see a number of times. Okay. EWS, EWS is not there in most of the states. Not most of the states, all of the states. EWS is not there in state counseling. A category fees, I cannot announce. If I announce... Police will immediately come to my home and they pick me. Okay. A category seat, college people will announce. Rough A category seat fees is somewhere around like 3, 3.5 lakhs. Rough seat. Exact seats, exact fees, college people will announce during their notification. Stipend for A category seats, you need to call it, you need to contact callers. Telangana does not have any stipends. Most of the colleges in the country does not have any stipends. Rank based personal questions, questions should be on WhatsApp and should be on phone calls. No cutoffs for deemed colleges. How many will have 15 lakhs? For example, you're talking about Savita. 17 lakhs is the fees per annum. 17, 17, 17. So it's going to cross 50. How many will have? Very few people will have. So it, it basing upon the people in front of you who are rich. That is how the deemed cutoff will be very. State lists will be released maybe after one or two months. We, we don't know exactly. Whenever they get moved, they are going to release. State merit lists will be released only after applying for a particular state. You have to apply the counseling, pay ex fees and apply for the counseling. You need to pay pay the state counseling fees again. Again, you have to apply with all the documentation and everything. There is no specific date. Exactly this date, the state is going to release the things and everything. Yeah, cutoff will be reduced after All India Counseling's round two. Paka, 100%. Uh, local, non-local, domicile and all these things, you try to check out uh, from your uh, local university website regarding the eligibility criteria. Criteria varies from state to state. All these things are personal. Let's, let's talk personally. No, I cannot. <laughs> Cut off percentages and everything are not in my hand. Okay. So there is no uh, prediction or exp uh, expectation for that. 
all india and state counseling will not be simultaneous first all india counseling round 1 will start then after round 1 allocation and reporting the state counseling few of the state counselings are going to release so state counts all india counseling round 2 and state counseling round 1 may overlap total number of seats in karnataka you can go to dca website go to mds option go to state option you will get the total number of seats exact seats i don't watch right so this year the seats may be increased because of few more colleges applying for mds so all those details will be there in dca website you no need to apply for every round of counseling you need to fill your options application is only once options you need to apply for every round <laughs> okay i think uh, we had some productive talk at least few of your questions the questions in your mind were cleared you have some route maps now uh, what is this and what is that and uh, we'll again meet in the few more days uh, to have some more discussion regarding the departments and everything okay take some time okay take some time you try to explore don't ask me questions like how i used to ask in your whatsapp activity uh, highest length is for largest crown is for okay so yeah you 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 try to search uh, explore the things regarding the departments uh, regarding the co colleges okay so which college is good and everything i'm going to give you some suggestions uh, that is basing upon my old students in that particular college or basing upon the contacts i have in that particular college or basing upon my interactions i regularly go for interactions to so many colleges where i meet my old students i'll talk with them at some point so that is my suggestions okay but when you're decided to be a part of something it's better you go uh, you go and find out the find find out the college okay find out the college you try to talk with the senior get some contacts in this process i'm going to help you okay my suggestion yes of course it's good if you don't have any other option but you try to explore because this is a process of 2 to 3 months or sometimes like a private college it goes to 4 months okay this is going to take 4 months 4 into 3 30 is 100 days plus process so you have a very decent time so let's explore something about dentistry branches and the colleges can someone buy a seat if they don't qualify no they cannot buy qualifying is mandatory to buy a seat that is the main motto of conducting a neat exam neat exam is to qualify you need to qualify to buy a management quota seat or let it be you want to buy an M you want to get into an nri seat or management quota seat or any sort of seat so make sure you should qualify if you are financially strong deemed colleges are definitely best deemed colleges are something which which you are paying more when you are paying more you get more you get best equipment for example you say high high paid colleges sabita ranking one colleges okay and similarly you have all equipments you have microscopes over there you have lasers over there you have everything over there so it is just like reciprocation if you are financially strong you can think about deemed colleges there is nothing wrong we'll discuss yaar let's the let's <laughs> let's the state notifications has to come why you are going uh, first all india will start okay relax so much of time is there just relax okay so people who has missed this video please try to go back maybe we'll try to upload it uh, today or by tomorrow morning you uh, try to check it off yes qualification is mandatory for a deemed college also for any college any seat you want to join mds you have to qualify neat mds 2024 examination at any cost okay done uh bye take care uh, any any anything in your mind which can be answerable uh, uh, will be will be replying you on the whatsapp kindly wait okay don't ping me uh, uh, please please don't do that all these things i'm here to help you and i'll try my best to help you and consider i am also human i'm not a, a, a google or a robot okay so i'll try to help you okay my 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 main motto is always to help you okay keeping uh, all the things aside okay i'll reply you i'll talk with you i can accommodate like 
maybe uh, 10 to 20 calls per day, not more than that. Okay. I am also growing old, zero stomia, continuously talking uh, classes on phone. Okay. So uh, everything is, I'm also having some issues with myself. So I'll accommodate 15 to 20 calls per day in the next five days. And I'll try to clear most of your doubts personally on phone. Parents are also calling. So we need to talk with parents, right? I can, for you, I can tell something. Uh, I'll call you after when a parent is calling, uh, we, we, we have that culture and respect, right? So you need to answer them their questions, huh? very tricky, controversial questions. I need to answer everything. Okay, I'll try to help you, okay? Time is there, you try to explore. Uh, if you're planning to join private callers, uh, inform your parents that they have to be prepared financially, economically, money and everything should be ready because once you're allocated in a particular college, within two to three days or three to four days, you have to go and pay the fees or else your seat will be released. This is very, very important. Let it be A category, let it be B category. For example, you deemed callers, you'll get two to three days or three to four days time. You need to go over there, pay the fees, lock the seat or else the seat will be released. So financial things are very, very important if you're planning to join in the private colleges. Okay, right. Uh, take care. Bye-bye. See you. We'll meet you again very, very soon.